Hey guys, this weekend I went to a scrapbook store called Frogs and Whiskers, Inc. and they're in Campbellford. And they had these new markers and they're called Try and they're from Letter Set. It's a selection that comes with uh, 24 markers. And these guys are also the people who make Pro Marker. They're made in England. These were some that Amanda gave to me uh, last year in a rack. And I haven't really had the chance to try them out because I've just been a little bit afraid of coloring with my Copics and my and and these pro markers. But this set I decided to get and try out at the store. So it comes in this nice, I don't know, faux leather probably wallet. It's got a zipper on the back for whatever you want to put in there. And then it zips open. And then here are your markers. These markers are very nice. I'll show you a pro marker first so you can compare them to the pro marker. So the pro marker and these markers are alcohol based just like Copics. And they have a brush tip but this one's smaller than the Copic which I find is kind of nice because you get a little bit more control but it kind of sucks when you're coloring in a large area. And then you have the chisel tip there. But what's really nice about these ones is you have the brush tip and it's big, it's nice and big like the Copics. But what I like about this one better than the Copics is it's stiffer. So I find that it takes a little longer to color in a full section, but you're not going all over the place like a drunk driver. Well, at least I was anyways. And as well, these don't bleed out as fast as Copics. And I did not like that because I was bleeding out a little bit on crazy. Not like crazy, but... And then there was one marker that started spewing out ink. And I don't know why. Then they have the chisel chip tip. This one actually looks slightly bigger than the other one as well. And then what's really neat about these markers and makes them even better than the Copic markers, I think, is... Um, it's a little tough to get off. Is it has a fine tip point pen as well and this really comes in handy with small detail and highlighting what I also liked like I'm not just in Copics I'm just telling you I bought these and I'm just comparing them to the Copics I don't know I still like the Copics but I'm leaning a little bit more towards these ones now so I used for the first stamp image, I used this stamp, which I did get at Frog and Whiskers as well. This is all I got, was just the markers and the stamp. So here is the the letter set marker set. I was going off by this because this is the first time I've ever colored with Copic or Pro or letter set. So first time coloring. So excuse the you know the lack of talent, but what I really liked was. I don't know if you can really see it. I can kind of see it on the camera. You can see the green tone. That was done with the same marker. These markers are really good. Ignore this half of the flower because I didn't know what I was doing. I started on that. I got better as I went up. But these are really made to, instead of having to have three colors or two colors from Copics to get that look, I only used one marker. One green marker to get the the shading as well as the regular coloring that you see. I used two markers for the rose. And here's the Copic image. I didn't have a bright red. The Copic flower did turn out a little better, but I think that's just because you can't see the boldness of the red. But the leaves I did try to go over them to put in the shading and they just I don't know it would just the same color just doesn't shade as well as the letter set markers do when you go over it again it automatically goes darker as for this one it didn't now it did for some of the other colors but not all of them so the second stamp image I did was this one right here from the Greening Farm stamp set and this one's called Miss Anya Hats Off this one is the letter set marker. This shirt, even though you can see the lighter and darker sleeves, is all the same marker. I actually, except for the hair, which the hair and the skin, uh, they turned out kind of crappy. 
every marker, like even this, even the shading, that's the same marker. The shirt is the same marker. I only use one marker for each color instead of several to get the same shading. So you can see the shading in the hat, the stripes in the sleeves, and then there's some shading there on the bottom of her jean shorts there. This one's done with Copics. Now see this blue marker shaded better. And so did this with with themselves. But that green one just didn't want to shade. So this is what I'm talking about right here. I was coloring her hair and then all of a sudden just all this ink came out of the marker. So I don't know. I don't know why. But it irritated me. They both bleed through uh, roughly about the same. So like that's you know that's comparable they're comparable markers you know like the guy said he said that the Copics are supposed to be basic and these are supposed to be more artisan I don't know because like I said I'm not a professional I like them both they both work fine I am kinda leaning towards the pro markers a little more just because I love the like even these, I love how I can get in those cracks a little easier. And for these, because I love this thin tip marker. Like who came up with that? That is so smart to come up with two nibs on top of each other. I don't know who came up with that, but that is freaking smart. And I just, I can't tell you how much I use this. It really helped with all the little details. And then it helped going in there shading. And like I said earlier, I just find because this brush is stiffer than the Copic brush, I found I had a little bit more control over where I was going. But then on that other side note, the Copic, I found I, I could color a little faster. I could color the bigger areas faster. Like this is just a Copic. So, I don't know. I really like them. I like both of them. They're both pretty good. I guess, you know, I'll just have to let you know as I start using them more and becoming a little bit more accustomed to both of them. Because like I said, this is the first time I've ever colored with any kind of marker, Copic or Pro Marker all together. It's the first time I've actually really used them. And I think they turned out, they both turned out really good. They both had their flaws and they both had their, you know, their good points to them as well. But like I said, I just kind of like the, the um, felt tip or what are they calling it? The ultra fine nib. I really do enjoy that. So if you want to check out their markers, there's some tutorials and how to use them and blah, blah, blah. Just go to letterset.com. Here's the name again. Let's go letterset.com. All their prices are in pounds. So, just so you know. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!